Okay, this. This is the one big drama ruski that uh, everyone everyone's talking about. So I'll give you a rundown. I actually put a little bit of, of thought into this, okay? There are two people on Twitch that... Um, one of them, Moon Moon, which, if you don't know, Moon Moon is like the name of an old imager meme. There was something about a wolf named Moon Moon. That was like his name. It's like the, he's a dumb wolf. It's a dumb name. So he just stole that name, and he created a Twitch channel. And I believe that his form of content primarily is Grand Theft Auto V roleplay. Now, if you've ever watched Bub's Games, who is currently on a... Just as a random aside, Bub's Games is an Australian troll who's currently on a uh, Outback... Um, soul finding mission. Uh, his current goal as a gay man is to get every form of Aboriginal AIDS as a homeless person, so that he can return to society healthy and, and established. Um, but there's there's these servers on GTA Five that are heavily modded, and the objective of the game is to role play. So you're not supposed to go around killing all the cops and shit. You're supposed to obey traffic laws. And it's supposed to be like there are police and then there are people and you just interact with each other. So you might go over the speed limit and then get pulled over by a cop. And the idea is that these encounters will spark role play and then it will be entertaining to the players, right? Well, uh, apparently this is actually a very popular genre of... Um, a video game because I'm aware even on kick there's like Turkish guys that do GTA 5 role play and they have like tens of thousands of followers that watch them live moon moon has 1.2 million followers on Twitch that just want to watch this guy do funny GTA 5 role play stuff and um, he makes enough money that he can support his family he is married and he does collaborations with other Twitch streamers such as Diva Jilly, who is also married. She is uh, in a 15-year marriage, actually. And so they would role-play together, and they just have a little a little plot going on where their characters are in a relationship, but, you know, the role-players themselves are totally platonic. Um, as you can see here from this tweet... I mean, I saw the impact of my dad cheating on my did to my mom, so if you can't be honest about not being able to be monogamous, you shouldn't trick someone into believing otherwise. Just be honest, and if that person isn't okay with it, then find someone else who is. So Jillian is strictly monogamous. What about our boy, Moon Moon? Wouldn't someone who loves his wife so much, comma, not risk losing all that by, in quotes, role-playing a, in quotes, fake relationship? Uh, one... I super love my wife, and I am in a, we are in a very, very good relationship that does not require, uh, you know, my wife be like, mm, you're talking to that, that, that fucking roleplay girl. Like, that's the, that's the difference between you and me is that I am, I, I'm trying to roleplay a character. I have no feelings for the person on the other end of my roleplay character's fucking shit. I have no intentions of speaking to them out of character any more than is necessary, which I don't. It, it, you, you're you're projecting what you would be doing in my situation. We're not the same, motherfucker. I am the goat. You are a fucking jerk off, dude. <laughs> so our boy, let me call out his name because I want to give him a big little shout out. Mocha Ski, Mocha Ski, lay down the allegation. Isn't it kind of embarrassing that you're role-playing with this diva jelly woman while uh, in a real relationship in real life? To which Moon Moon says, absolutely not. There's no, there's nothing wrong with what I do. It's just a job, basically. Um, it's a professional, professional relationship, and we role-play uh, an in-game relationship as a form of entertainment. And there's nothing wrong with there. that. And, in fact, I'm the greatest of all time because I can handle such a thing. Well... Predictably. <laughs> um, what happened is that Diva Jilly and Moon Moon met up at a Twitch convention and they had sex. They had had an ongoing uh, um, 
one uh, sort of like an entanglement where they would have erotic role play in private. So what he's referring to as I don't talk to this person outside of these conversations in private any more than I need to was actually uh, erotic sexual fantasies um, that went on and on and on and on and uh, was effectively a form of emotional uh, infidelity, which transformed into a physical relationship at this convention. Well... While she was at this convention meeting up with Moon Moon, her husband was a little bit concerned about how much time she was spending talking to this guy. And I assume she was probably a little bit secretive. Like, he walks over, he's like, hey, Jelly, what you up to? And then she, like, alt-tabs out of the Discord. And he's like, hmm, that's weird. That's a weird beat. That's, you, that's, a, that's a bit strange to do that, to suddenly hide your discord with your, you know, that you use to talk to people, that you do these role plays. That's a bit strange, actually, now that I think about it. So, um, while she was indisposed and uh, getting the moon moon, <laughs> he went on to discord and pulled up her conversations with this guy, and lo and behold, uh, it is erotic role play. So, he... <laughs> This man of 15 years relationship with uh, Jilly decided, oh, okay, I'm going to publish these all on the internet now. And for that, we thank him. Okay, uh, let's read these erotic roleplay logs, chat. Now, I know, please, everybody, especially you, Sneedo, especially you, Colia Dante, don't get, any, don't get any wrong ideas from my sultry vixen voice reading these erotic roleplay logs. Okay. Um, Diva Jelly says, call. Moon says, I'm pooping. She says, fine, I cannot begrudge that. I would hope not. It's kind of fucking psycho behavior. Stop shitting right now. Pinch it off. We got roleplay to do, boy. <laughs> he says, unrelatedly... Enjoy sleeping in that bed tonight without me there to make a make it a furnace alongside you. That was not the primary issue impacting sleep quantity, and you know it. He says, I haven't a clue what you could possibly mean. Not one. He says, playing coy, I see, sir. I slept really well last night, just not long enough. He says, me too, honestly. She says, smiley face. So I guess this is them saying, oh, I sleep better because we're having ERP, and I'm jilling off before bed. He says, do you still have a headache? She says, nope. Turns out eating was good for that. Who knew? Also probably water. Thank you for checking on my headache. So, so nice. Oh my God, he does care. He checks on me, my headache. Um, I literally cannot... S oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to read this. She says, she cannot stop thinking about Moon Moon destroying her... Uh, I don't, it, sound, it just sounds wrong if I say it, Jeff. Fill in the blank, Jeff. I don't want to say it. It's... But she does say that she's a degenerate, depraved cum slut. And for some reason, saying that is much easier. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, he says, I've been pretty much thinking about ha blowing my load inside you nonstop. She says, same wavelengths. I like your frequency. I can't be wait to be bred by you, bro. That's fucking weird. He says, get that birth control taken out. I'll have you bent over and knocked up day one. That's a promise. I swear to God, my ovaries couldn't get any warmer or fuzzier. Okay, well, I mean, it's kind of... She's married for 15 years. Does she have kids? Because I have a feeling what the issue in their in her relationship is. I have a, I have a small... I have a, I have a theory. I have a working hypothesis of where the flaws in their relationship are stemming from, chat. Is anyone following along on this? Anyone else following my... Is anyone else on my wavelength when it comes to this? Um, I wish you could have heard the whimper that just escaped my lips. Um, I don't think I shall have any problem reproducing the sound for your enjoyment. In the musical of my mind, I had <laughs> Majesty by Eminem and Nicki Minaj as our song for a while because of Eminem's part of the lyrics. Uh-oh, wifey's in Chicago. Uh-oh, my side piece, but she's also someone's wife. So time we spend is borrowed. It's our moment right here. Fuck tomorrow, because moments like these are to die for. Bro, this is not This is not mother material, my dude, moon moon. This is, uh, this is <laughs> a really bad idea. If she's singing these lyrics, 
Bro, that's it's literally in red. Here's your red flag. It's literally a red card with lyrics printed on it as a fucking warning to you, brother. Love your singing voice and the lyrics. I said I wanted to serenade you. I've never been serenaded before. I blushed. That's cute. You're super cute. I do be cute on occasion. What you're doing post TOS game? She says, you're cute all the time, IMO. Just listening to sappy love songs. You're such a girl. This is what I'm reduced to. Ha ha ha. To be in love. Sitting by an AC unit scrolling love songs on Spotify. People are NPCs. This is this reads like an NPC. This is like two language learning models having a conversation with each other or something. This is not like real people dialogue. Like old people. Old people flirting. Hello, I am now on me computer. Oh, this is this guy's post. <laughs> Wife cheated me on me with RP partner. Since I have since I was unemployed, she told me my job was to check other streams to give her intel on what people were doing at certain times to make sure she had the best outcome for her character. This was not fair to anyone involved. <laughs> This guy, this guy's wife of 15 years or this uh, cheats on him and his, his concern on Twitter to try and fuck with her streaming career is to say, oh yeah, by the way, I helped her cheat in our role play scenarios. That, that's why, that's why he's down here in the replies. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I can't even fucking imagine. I mean, my mind would not be like, oh my god, I need to make sure that everyone knows that she was, like, cheating in her roleplay. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is King Caffeine again. This is the guy. It's not really an easy way to say this, but Jillian Diva Jillian, my wife of 15 years, and a role player of CEO Bon on No Pixel GTR ARP in The Love of My Life, has been cheating on me for months with the Twitch streamer Moon Moon. Attached, you will find their messages from TwitchCon that I found while trying to see if she was okay after not responding to my check-in messages Saturday night. Oh, boy, buddy. Yeah. Ooh, that makes my skin crawl. That's fucking hard. I mean, I guess it speaks to his character that he didn't fucking cave her skull in with something. It really saddens me that it came to this after months of assuring me it was just RP. I was sold the lie that it was just about sex positivity and girl bossing, when in reality they were living out their secret fantasies while both being married. I'm sure their rabid fan bases won't care, but I'm also sure that there are plenty of people who feel vindicated by this, especially those who warn about the dangers of ERP. Thanks, Trav. I got curious after finding these messages and checked other DMs. There were multiple guys she was sending and receiving sexual videos with. Oh! Oh, wow! I guess... <laughs> wow! All of them were in the no pixel DOJ. No point in attaching these. She would call them her daddy or favorite or whatever pet names, obviously curating emotional relationships behind my back, and then had the audacity to act completely normal at home. Her best friend warned me about this, but I didn't take it seriously. What the fuck, bro? He must have just wanted to not believe it. This level of compulsive lying and sociopathy is honestly something I haven't, should have seen coming. This is the same person who would be the first to grandstand and virtue signal about any other streamer drama. Well, I mean, you can't, you can't really, you know, use that. That doesn't mean anything. Grandstanding. Social. Streamer, you know. Some people are good. Since I was unemployed, she told me that my job was to check other streamers and give her intel about people were doing, blah, blah, blah. And I guess the moral of this story is trust no bish. <laughs> Look at this fucking goblin. This Jewish goblin. He looks Jewish. I'm just going to say it. This goblin. I give out. <laughs> yeah, ovaries is feeling so warm and fuzzy for me. <laughs> I can't wait to meet you at VidCon. Uh, <laughs> make sure whatever you get's kosher. <laughs> I got, I'll bring bagels. <laughs> Um, if it's not clear, I think that her entire shtick is that she was, like, trying to monkey branch famous creators. Um, I don't think she actually likes this guy. 
She just wanted to like make sure that she had more screen time with him in this ongoing G- GTA Five, so that she would get more followers. I think that's basically the the gist of this. Uh, sucks to be her husband, though. Oh my God! In his Discord, his name is Admin Anime Lover. Um, his response is this: I didn't bother reading the dude's post on Twitter. Chick was in an open marriage. His idea, not hers. I've been separated from my wife for two months. She's a nice lady, so be nice. I've never talked to her inappropriately while we did RP shit out of character. No contact except about game shit. I mean, that's demonstrably false. And five, TwitchCon was pretty sweet. I mean, his response is pretty good up until you get to number four. Because that's a lie. And if you lie like this, the other points, which are kind of convincing... um look like a lie too because it's like i don't know if he's separated then i guess if it's over it's over and if she i mean if she's saying she's in an open marriage she could have i mean she's obviously a liar so she could have lied to him like oh my husband doesn't care and he's like oh okay that's cool and then there was no no thought about it um but he obviously was having like weird ERP with her in private so yeah I don't know could, the rest could be bullshit too um what a weird niche GTA 5 role play uh, dude if I did that I would be the black guy I'd be like she my fucking big snooze she rolling up on you my kneesy laying you out police fuck the police and then if the, the cops were like arresting me I'd be like I can't breathe I can't please please man I can't I can't breathe that would be my role everybody would love me everybody was like oh my god Josh is here in the role play server real quick everybody arrest him real quick and I'm like no <laughs> it's just a count for 20 <laughs> <laughs> my banana and skittles <laughs> i think you get banned if you do that i'm too funny for for polite society these days they'd ban you franny fish yeah bro i know how it is um here are the rules uh one no heckin racism two no heckin transphobia three no heckin mod disrespect four all mod judgments are final. You can appeal any mod accent on the forum, but do not argue in the server. Sixth, no fail RPG. What's what's the word where they where they like where you have to like obey all the rules or something? Otherwise, it's like against the rules. That basically be it. Uh, number seven, always vote to give more tard buck to tranny so we can run the server. Fear, oh yeah, fear RP. I'm pointing my gun at you, so you have to shit yourself like a little bitch and do whatever I say. You can't just run away from me when I'm pointing a gun at you. You have to RP that you're afraid. The usual Discord. No St. Floyd RP. There's, make your own Kiwi GTA 5 roleplay server. I don't know, maybe. They um they got two Team Fortress servers up now. They made one in the US too. So I don't know. I guess if uh, if people start playing video games more often, maybe I will like do more video game stuff with the the forum. Cuz I know that that um something awful had a bunch of video game stuff and that was like a big source of content and like community for them. Um but historically the Kiwi farms has always had to be very cautious about um servers and and playing stuff outside the kiwi forums just because it is what it is and you have people like liz Fung jones and shit trying to fuck with people um even like in our movie night there's like ridiculous fucking retard trying to fuck with it so you know it is what it is. Uh, there's a lot that i wish i could do that i can't um okay so that's that bunch of cheaters i don't know twitch streamers always seem like the biggest retards Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.